Psalm 38 O Lord, do not rebuke me in your wrath, but chasten me in your hot displeasure. For your arrows pierce me deeply, and your hand presses me down. There is no soundness in my flesh because of your anger, nor any health in my bones because of my sin. For my iniquities have gone over my head. Like a heavy burden, they are too heavy for me. My wounds are foul and festering because of my foolishness. I am troubled. I am bowed down greatly. I go mourning all the day long. For my loins are full of inflammation, and there is no soundness in my flesh. I am feeble and severely broken. I groan because of the turmoil of my heart. Lord, all my desire is before you, and my sign is not hidden from you. My heart pants, my strength fails me. As for the light of my eyes, it also has gone from me. My loved ones and my friends stand aloof from my plague, and my relatives stand afar off. Those also who seek my life lay snares for me, and those who seek my hurt speak of destruction. The plan deception all the day long. But I like a deaf man, do not hear, and I am like a mute who does not open his mouth. Thus I am like a man who does not hear, and in whose mouth is no response. For in you, O Lord, I hope. You will hear, O Lord my God. For I said, hear me, lest they rejoice over me lest when my foot slips, they exalt themselves against me. For I am ready to fall, and my sorrow is continually before me. For I will declare my iniquity, and I will be in anguish over my sin. But my enemies are vigorous, and they are strong, and those who hate me wrongfully have multiplied those also who render evil for good they are my adversaries because I follow what is good do not forsake me O Lord O my God be not far from me make haste to help me O Lord my salvation Psalm 39 I said, I will guard my ways, lest I sin with my tongue. I will restrain my mouth with a muzzle, while the wicked are before me. I was mute with silence. I held my peace even for good, and my sorrow was stirred up. My heart was hot within me. While I was musing, the fire burned. Then I spoke with my tongue. Lord, make me to know my end, 
And what is the measure of my days, that I may know how frail I am? Indeed, you have made my days as hand breaths, and my age is as nothing before you. Certainly every man at his best state is but vapor. Surely every man walks around like a shadow. Surely they busy themselves in vain. He heaps up riches and does not know who will gather them. And now, Lord, what do I wait for? My hope is in you. Deliver me from all my transgressions. Do not make me the reproach of the foolish. I was mute. I did not open my mouth because it was you who did it. Remove your plague from me. I am consumed by the blow of your hand when with rebukes you correct man for iniquity. You make his beauty melt away like a moth. Surely every man is vapor. Hear my prayer, O Lord, and give ear to my cry. Do not be silent at my tears, for I am a stranger with you, a sojourner of all my father's work. Remove your gaze from me, that I may regain my strength before I go away and am no more.